What's up everybody, 915 Mang here hanging out with Tim today. We're going to give him a little bit of help moving the 125 out of the living room. And at the same time we're going to go ahead and talk fish. We're going to look at the 90 gallon cube, it's up and running. Fish have been transferred and uh, just listen to the conversation. It's a lot of fun doing these things, especially hanging out and just talking fish. Alright guys. Make sure to stay tuned, go ahead and uh, top off your drinks. There's going to be a part 2 of this video probably, more than likely. And uh, just enjoy the video guys. If you haven't done so, go ahead and subscribe. All, I, you know, I, all you can do is just go back to, I, I just, I'm just changing the water every week. I'm checking, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm checking the parameters, dosing, get the acclimate, stable, just trying to get everything stable and just keep going like that. So I think it's... But the first indication, like I said, it looks like maybe I'm headed the right direction. Now I'm starting to get the coral analogy to just to, to come on the rock. So, so listen. You've seen people using the uh, dosers to do their like automatic uh, water changes. No, I've seen like YouTube and stuff. I've seen them use that. Yeah. Like I've, I've been messing with my JBJ trying to uh, figure it out because I. It know, makes I've sense. Been, I mean, it, it actually. What you know when you do water changes, you know it's. If you're doing ten, even if you're doing ten percent, you know you're changing the mm -hmm. you know, the chemistry. So if you do it like with the dose, and you're doing very small amounts over a long period of time, it makes it makes a lot of sense. You know? Yeah. Um, there's an idea. So how do you like my that? Apex, uh, and then of course my apex went out. It did. Yeah. So I, I sent that in to, to get it. Oh, at least you didn't buy the new apex. You know about the new <laughs> apex, right? What? It has a faulty SD card, and they're making. Uh, Customers, they don't know which units have the faulty SD cards, so those Apex are bricks, and then the customers have to send them back. They're like seven hundred dollars for a unit. Yeah, yeah. So and I, I'm I'd be kind of pissed if I had to send back seven hundred dollars. And they don't even know which ones, because I've been reading on the forums. No. Uh, so why'd you get rid of the uh, gyre? I said gyre on one of the no, because here's, here's the problem. Okay. You know, you get this nice, plenty of flow here, and then you, I can see it, you know, you could put stuff in the water and watch it go back. But, you know, I, if I would, after I used it for a few weeks, I did, I'm just, I forget what I was doing. I was just getting and blowing off the rocks and all kind of stuff. I'm blowing off with a turkey baster, you know. I go, <laughs> well, what the hell is that? You know, and so, I, okay, so I got to go higher. But hell, if I crank the gyre up high, too high, I mean, we got water bouncing over the top. I said, that's not going to work. So remember, I had the two MP40s, so I said, what the hell with it, you know? And if I use a gyre, so I had to use one MP40 with it to get down here. And so I, I, one day I decided, what am I doing? I, so I just put the two MP40s on the back, and it works. It works a lot better. Plus, once, and then once I got the reef link, oh, okay. it's like, oh, well, okay, now I, you know. Boom, wait, now I can, I can kill the light, the pumps, okay. and, and, uh, uh, and, the, uh, and the return pump all wireless now. So once I got that, I said, okay, you're out. <laughs> so I'm cool. I mean, it did, the gyre, just, it gives you this nice, you know, flow here, but I can get almost, See, nine, I'm on pretty low right now on the MP40s. I can crank it up. I can get Are those the old school MP40s or the quiet ones? And, uh, you can see, you can see down here, I can get pretty full of I'm only about 40% on them, so. My, my gyre, like, it started, like, crapping out on me. It was, like, not giving much flow at all that I was noticing. And then, uh, and then I took it out to clean it, and the impeller on the left-hand side, the rubber gasket there, yeah. it was chewed up, like, straight up. It, it just it was crapped out, so. I got one for sale. I got a 130 for sale. <laughs> How much? I put my skimmer on. That's the fastest I ever saw. You better, you better tell me now because I don't have a year of job. I don't know. 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 I don't think he's coming. Yeah, probably not. Because he crashed his. Well, he helped me move my tank. Yesterday? No. Last weekend. Oh, okay. Like Sunday night. <laughs> yeah, I asked him. I mean, I got my truck. So. I thought that was Jimmy's truck. I was like, look at all these water tanks. Uh, all that garbage is still in there. That's because we moved at like 3 o'clock in the morning on a Sunday. I bought this one used. 
Yeah. Uh, I don't have the extra, whatever you call them. Feathers or whatever? So, I don't know, I'd have to, that's why I say, I don't even remember what I paid for. I mean, uh, well, that means it's probably like 20 bucks. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> 20 bucks. 20 bucks. I started that. I put that vertex out for sale, and, and I I forgot I had the neck cleaner to that because I never could use it. was too tall with the neck cleaner to use in this tank. Mm -hmm. I forgot I had it, you know. And I go, oh crap! Uh, so I put it for two thirty-five. Man, that thing in thirty minutes it was gone. That vertex. <laughs> I don't know why people like Vertex a lot. I don't know. It's, I personally they're like a tank, you know. I mean, they're solid, you know, they, they're easy to clean. They break. break. Uh, but I brought, you know, if you remember a couple of, well, know, well, the first thing was my, my return pump impeller went out, and then my skimmer. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah the bubble metal. Now, what I didn't know was, and once you start looking for a replacement for impellers for a Vertex, it's like, oh, I'm not the only guy that this ever happened to, you know, because the new one, they, and they want 80 bucks for those. 80 bucks for just the impeller. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't find it any cheaper than that. That's, that's the cheapest I could get. But it's a new, uh, they make a different one now because I guess the one that like I had, which came with the original, didn't last too long. But the guy I had it was, got from his Las Cruces. Cruces. He had used it for about a year. Uh, you know, I sold it for 235 but I don't think I paid much more than that for it. You know, I'm just trying to be reasonable. But <laughs> when somebody buys it within 30 minutes, you go, Damn, I should have asked that. Only a whole lot more than that for it. You know? Wait a minute. I mean, they're, they're 300 and something dollars for just a skimmer. I said right? 400 <laughs> So When I say 235 I just, oh. Frag tank? <laughs> what? Frag tank? <laughs> You're out of your mind. Uh, How much are you talking to? I'll take 100 bucks for it. With the controller or without? No, I got the controller. I just, I just cleaned it all up. I had it apart. Is so it 130? That's all 130. I think they're going to 239. I, I'm saying, I'm thinking the guy probably bought that when they first. Uh, I'm thinking maybe when did they first start producing it? Like 214, two, somewhere in 2014. That's about when I bought mine. Right after uh, I bought that. So he probably used it then. I haven't. Used it much at all, you know. Obviously, because I haven't. You know how many views this tank has gotten? Like twenty something thousand views, and it's broken. <laughs> yeah, but why? Everything looks better on YouTube. You know that, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going. I looked at that. This. My, this I showed my wife. She says, "Whose tank is that?" I go, "It's mine." You know what you're talking about? You know. You gotta uh, be kidding me. What is it? What? Tim's tank. Oh. Made one. Yeah, the CP6 yeah. or something yeah. like that. I didn't know they, I didn't know they made one. Yeah. How much are you going to sell this tank, Tim? I don't know. This is. I don't know. This That's is ready. Like the exact ripoff of that thing. Like, like to the team, except for the controller. I'm going to do something I, I said I wouldn't, and that's why I sold my Bubble Magus uh, uh, dosing pump. I had a J Bubble. Yeah. But it broke, and I didn't have. I came straight out of China somewhere, so there's no. I can't return it. You know. Uh, Hundred bucks, people. But I got, so I got, I'm gonna buy another J bone nice dosing pump. No. But uh, I gotta. I gotta buy. Get from a legitimate dealer in the United States that'll give me a warranty for at least a year. You know. So you know, Reef Breeder sells uh, J bone products. Yeah. 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 You know, you know that, that was easier to program than the bubble magus. A lot easier, and you could do it. There's a lot more things you could do with it than, than the bubble magus. Um, but I just got mad about it. I just went, well, hell, I'll just buy one that's been around for a long time. That's going to be a sweet tank. Uh, we'll but, get you uh, some corals. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get back. i got to get the apex back and do the cable management down there and stuff. And so one thing that helped me, and it sounds dumb, was and especially with your size skimmer, I went back to heavy feeding. Like when I had the 240 gallon, I was feeding my own mix of like a crap load of food every day, but I had like 45 fish in there. <laughs> so what I did with my 60 gallon, I went back to heavy feeding it and the pods exploded on it. Like I feed like a lot of pellets, probably like three times as many as I was before, twice a day, when I, when I was only giving them like a pinch a day before. Can you turn the floor? Insane. Can I turn it up? Yeah. Uh, so. 
Put it again. I'm I mean, lost without the apex. Your skimmer okay. can handle it, so maybe pushing more might help the tank uh, cycle quicker. Oh, that's cool like that. I like doing these top down shots. I think a lot of people like them. Seen all the you, fish. You see, the only thing, the only thing I don't like about this is that, you see how that it's goes on bins like that? It's maxed out, yeah. He, I asked them about that. And they said, well, that's the way we kind of made it. They said, you can put a shim in there and kind of, to bring it up, you know, because I thought, no matter what I do on that, without, you know, just the way it's stock, it ends up sort of going down like that. So, and he said that that's the way they intended it to be. And I go, well, oh, I don't mind. Good. If I have it up a little bit, I'll get better coverage here in the front, you know. And these things are freaking like 85 bucks, the RMS or something like that. So, what he's saying is you put a, like a, another piece, you know, something, rubber or plastic or something, put it in there and sort of, and yeah, I guess I, I see how you do that, but, uh, but I don't, it seems like I'm just not quite getting the coverage all the way to the front there, so I don't know. Let's see. Look at that fish feed. That's what I'm talking about. That's, that, that's how I fed. <laughs> how many times a day did you feed? On the 240 gallon? Twice a day. Twice a day. Uh, and I had, I would go to the Asian market and get like mixed, yeah. mixed uh, uh, frozen food. They have like calamari, octopus. Uh, yeah. uh, it's a huge fish. They have like squid. I mean, I just said squid. Uh, shrimp, scallops. and had like all this crap in there for like Asian style, Asian style soup. Yeah. And I take that. That sounds like it already is. That's what I eat. Two pounds of mycin, <laughs> frozen mycin, uh, brine, and uh, I think if I got them at the time, I would put the Cyclops uh, pods in there. They, they sell flat packs for them. So I'd take all that crap and I'd put nori in there and blend it up into this massive monstrosity of uh, food. And they would just eat it. Crap out of it. I had a massive octopus skimmer though. Like yours is, is probably like what? What's it rated for? Uh, I think if that's it's like 150 at least. Yeah, I guess, something like that. So if it's about twice it three, five, three. seven, and a nine, I guess a nine is bigger. See, I had to stop peeing. Because the tank. My is really good. Like, oh, we gotta move the fish tank out. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, this is you? Yeah. Oh, okay. The, the uh, grayish color paint, that's the new, so that's as far as we can get. So, <laughs> once we get that out, then I get the paint again, though. Oh, geez, I don't know how much time. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> I don't know. And then, it's just been, I can't believe I lost all those calls. I just should have waited. You know, no matter how many, and you, you always talk about people, and everybody says, I said it, you know, and the big thing I remember is <laughs> be patient. Patience. You know, what do I do? So it's all about patience. I don't know, you know, sometimes you just think, well, the fish are in there, okay, let's get everything. And I think I was just in a hurry to, to get something done with that tank and get it gone. Because for a while I had these two tanks running, and I'm not a two tank person. You forget that stuff. I am. So I'd be like, <laughs> you're like I'd a five like, tank uh, person. <laughs> I forgot to do this, I forgot to, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, I did this, I did that. One, here's how crazy I got. I'm taking, uh, doing alkalinity, casting and stuff. <laughs> So I'm supposed to be doing it on a new tank. I keep, but I keep going, you're just in the habit of taking water out of that tank to do it. And I'm going, how can I keep, keep getting these crazy readings? And one day I realized, Shh, I'm taking the water out of that, getting the readings and doing stuff in this tank based oh, off the wow. readings in that tank, you know? So I said, this is crazy. Um, um, but, so that's another reason I was in a hurry to get out of that tank. So it's just. No, I like how uh, Mills, what's his name, Mills Reef? How he does it, that's how I want to do it. Because okay. I had I had my big eight foot tank and I really missed that. But the sixty gallon, you can put like smaller stuff in, like I got the like a whole horde of sexy shrimp in there and stuff like that that normally like wouldn't even exist in a big tank. You talking about Paletta? No. Paletta's no. reef. Oh Mel's oh, Mel's reef. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I like yeah. watching Paletta because he's, he's always got screwing a, around. Mel's got a lot of things they uh, Yeah, he's got He's got like a big ass tank and then he's got his enemies on yeah, the Yeah, yeah, the 60 gallon with the... That's, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna hold on to my 60. I think he's divorced or something. 
I thought he was single. Never talks about his wife, but he talks about his son. Well, guys, it was a lot of fun. Thank you, Tim, for having us over. I'm glad that the move went well. The 125 is an awesome tank, and uh, it's going to make somebody very happy. Also, if you haven't done so, check out the video of the 125 when it was at its prime. And uh, it's going to be a great tank for somebody else. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Tim, for having us over and letting us record. You guys have a good one. Take care. Like and subscribe, guys.